Good morning, Brandon. We're going to talk about uh, rolling a cube or a number dice today. One of our family favorite games that we play that includes a die is Clue, solving the murder mystery. Something you can do with the old folks and Tyler when you get a moment. So the die has six sides, all numbered correctly. So we have, you can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. So the total outcomes, or the total possible outcomes, are six. And there's only one desirable outcome. So that gives you your, your fraction of one over six. Okay? So... We're going to do a couple here. So we're going to see what the odds are of rolling a three. So we have a one and six chance of rolling a three. So I'm going to roll the dice three times, or six times, and we'll find out how many times we get a three. So here we go. The first time, I got a six. Here's rule number two, a one. Third time, four, a five, a four. This is our last attempt, and we finally got a three. But you'll notice that one number didn't come up at all. And that was a two. And that's because there's only a one in six chance of getting a two. You'll also notice that a four came up twice. This is called an experimental result. It's not what is supposed to happen. What is supposed to happen is a four is only supposed to come up once. But there's a difference between experimental results and theoretical. This is theoretical. This is experimental.